Sleep, man. What do you want to do tonight? Same thing we do every night, Pinky. Try to take over the world. The Little Book of Successful Secrets What Successful People Know But Don't Talk About By Justin Perry and Costas Saris Narrated by Steve White What is the Law of Attraction? Quote, You attract what you feel, what you are. End quote. Denzel Washington Everything that is ever created starts in the mind as an idea. Everything. Every result is the product of a process that was started by a thought. Your most dominant thoughts attract similar ideas, experiences, and resources, which eventually end up manifesting the idea in the physical world. You are like a living magnet that attracts and becomes what you think, feel, and say most often. Allow thoughts of wealth to fill your mind all day long, and you will start the process of wealth attraction. You will begin to feel inclined to take action and form relationships that are conducive to acquiring wealth. On the other hand, if you allow thoughts of lack and poverty to fill your mind all day long, you will cut off all opportunities that may move you in the direction of becoming wealthy, thus perpetuating a cycle of lack and poverty. It sounds simple, but it is not necessarily easy. You are going to have to form new habits of thoughts, feelings, and actions. You will have to take the time to study and fully internalize the success principles presented to you in this book. Quote, If I want it, if I believe I can have it, then that's my reality. I'll attract it. It will attract to me. End quote. Big Sean, Recording Artist Thoughts are a form of energy. Since the whole universe is made of this same energy, it is only logical to assume that our thoughts affect the universe and ultimately the physical reality we live in. Since everything is connected by this universal energy, the energy you put out affects the entire energy field on a subatomic level. Think of thoughts as the air around us. They are both invisible to us, but we know they are there. In order for air to affect physical reality, it must be intensely focused on a certain object like a strong gust of wind on a tree. Same goes for your thoughts. In order to affect physical reality, your thoughts must be intensely focused on a particular outcome you wish to create. This strong collection of similar thoughts will in turn induce you to take the necessary action, as well as attract all the resources and relationships needed to achieve this outcome. When I first started writing this book, I wanted this part to explain why and how the law of attraction works the way it does, using quantum physics and evidence from scientific experiments. Then I realized that after many years of reading book after book and studying everything I could get my hands on, no one actually knows for sure why the law of attraction exists and how it works. Science still cannot fully explain the law of gravity, magnetism, or electricity. We just know they exist because we can observe their effects time after time. One thing I do know for sure is that I have observed the effects of the law of attraction time after time in my own life, and so have many other people. It's not necessary to understand why it works to reap the rewards the same way you don't need to understand why electricity works to flick a light switch. But just like electricity, this force can either be used constructively, like powering a light bulb, or destructively, as in the case of the electric chair. It is called the law of attraction, and just like all natural laws, it is always in full effect, no matter the circumstance. When a young child accidentally walks off the edge of a cliff, Gravity doesn't make an exception and suddenly stop operating because the child didn't know what they were doing. The same is true for the law of attraction. It doesn't stop operating just because someone is ignorant of the fact that their thoughts create their reality. Laws cannot think or decide what is right or wrong. They just are. It is our job to become aware of them and use them constructively.
Quote, Whatever you're imagining, you're attracting into your life. End quote. Redfu. LMFAO. In this book, we are going to study how you can consciously master this law to create the life you've always dreamed of. It's obvious that people who have achieved great success are doing something right that others are not. That something different is how they habitually use their mind and focus. Your mind is more powerful than any supercomputer on the planet, and by learning how to use it correctly, you can achieve pretty much anything you want. This is not a new discovery, but it is also not very commonly known because many people either haven't taken the time to invest in themselves by learning what they need to know, are too lazy to apply the principles, or they simply don't want to change badly enough. This book is giving you the key to success, but no one else can use this key for you other than yourself. If you are prepared to commit to taking control of your own mind, you can be, do, or have anything you want. You will finally understand the cause of success and how you can apply it in your own life. Quote, I am no longer cursed by poverty because I took possession of my own mind, and that mind has yielded me every material thing I want, and much more than I need. But this power is a universal one, available to the humblest person as it is to the greatest. End quote. Andrew Carnegie